Hello. I'm going to be going over this coding challenge. You're given a sequence of objects. Um, in this case, looks like it's a list of dictionaries um, representing data about developers who have signed up to attend the next coding meetup that you are organizing. Your task is to return a sequence, which includes the developer who is the oldest. In case of a tie, include all the same age senior developers listed in the same order as they appeared in the original input array. For example, given this or list of dictionaries, we should return this. And uh, we're, we're returning two because um, Gabriel and Sue um, are both 49 years old. So Gabriel and Sue. Um, so let me give this a shot. I want to use this as a very, use this as my test case. And I'm going to use this as my variable name since it's the input for the function. Equals that. And I'm going to make, name this LST because that's the input to the function. Um, so what I'm going to planning on doing is I'm going to loop through this because it's a list of dictionaries and I'm going to check for the age each time. So if I do a for um, make a variable called dev in LST print dev. So this is going to print each of the dictionaries. If I wanted the age, I'll do square bracket age. So first person is 49, second person is 38, third person is 19, and fourth person is 49 as well. So I want to check to see what is the uh, um, the oldest per the oldest individual here, and I'm going to start initiating it with um, oldest age, oldest oldest person, and so a lot of times I'll like set this to be zero or set this to be none. In this case, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to grab it to be this first person. So oldest person is going to be LST, grab that first dictionary, and grab age. And if I take a look at oldest person, it's 49. And that's just because this first person is 49. So now I want to write some conditional statements. So if um, dev age is equal to this, oldest person, then um, what do I want to do? I want to add, I think I want to add, yeah, I want to add the entire dictionary to a list. So I'm going to make a list called senior dev. So if this person is the same age as my oldest person, then I want to add them to the senior dev list dot append dev. And then I also need to handle the condition. What if this person is um, like this case, if this person instead of 38 was 50, then I want to update this, um, this uh, senior dev list. And I want to remove the people that are 49. So what I would do in that case is LF dev age is greater than oldest person. Then I want to update oldest person. That variable is equal to dev age. I want to update my list, which is senior dev. I want to empty it. And then um, I want to add this new person. So let's, let's run this. And um, I'm going to add some print statements. So dev age and then each time through i also want to print um, my senior dev so in this first case the senior develop developer is um 49 and realizing i made, I made a mistake but uh, i'll explain it um the first person is 49 and they are equal to the oldest person, so they get added to this list. The second person, and this is where I made the mistake, is I changed this age, but I haven't ran this cell. So it's still, uh, it hasn't saved that this person is 50. So the next person is 38. They don't hit either of these conditions. So the um, senior dev list stays the same. Third person is 19. 
Again, stays the same. Fourth person, it hits this condition because they are 49 years old, so it gets added as well. Let me run this and we can watch it. So first person is 49, they get added to the list. Um, second person is 50, which is greater than our oldest person. So it hits this LF condition for the first time. So it updates oldest person to be 50 and um, it adds this person to this list. And then, um, yeah, 19 doesn't hit either of these conditions. 49 doesn't hit either of these conditions. So I think that is right. And I'm going to try it, try it out. And I want to return senior dev. And let's try running it. And my indentions are almost messed up. All right, so I got some incorrect results. Um, well, let me get what's going on with that. Um, Let me try running this inside of my function. Let's, when I say inside of my function, I mean um, inside of my Jupyter notebook. And ls list one. Find senior list one. And yeah, I am getting weird results. Um, I want to need to remove this print statement. Oh, I have my return statement inside of my for loop. So I want to loop through my for loop beforehand. So that way it goes through all the people. Because right now it's just hitting, um, stopping once it reaches Gabriel, the first element. So now that looks right. So let's try and run this now. Yeah, I can remove this. All right, cool. So now we passed both cases and try running it and it passed. So that is my solution. Um, hopefully that was useful and let me know if you have any questions. Thank you.